Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 2. The All Plan building structure is the headquarters of your All Plan project. This is where you organize the data that you draw, but also where you organize your derived objects, such as views, sections, and reports. Data that you import externally into your All Plan project, such as a site plan from a surveyor, is also stored here in the building structure. In order to familiarize you with the All Plan building structure, let's create a small practice building structure together to get started. For this purpose, let's create a new empty All Plan project that does not contain a building structure yet. To do this, click on New Project, Open Project. Ensure that Local is active, and then click on New Project. For example, enter Practice Building Structure above as the project name. And below, choose No Project Template. Then click Next. Confirm the following dialog with Finish, and the new All Plan project will be created. After creating the project, you will see the name of the new project above in the title bar. We will then use this small project only for this building structure exercise and then continue working in the Quick Start project. Things can get started after this minor preliminary work. I click on the dialog, open on a project specific basis. When starting this function, All Plan notes that the project does not yet contain a building structure and assists me in the next steps with a small wizard. Here we select Manually Create a Building Structure because that is exactly what we want to do now and All Plan opens the right building structure window that is still empty. As you can see, the building structure has a left and a right side. On the left side, all the data in the project is created and imported. On the right side, the derived objects from the model are created. We would like to create a small building structure that you can use, for example, to organize a building with a basement, first floor and top floor, and restrict ourselves to the left side in this exercise for this purpose. The first thing we do here is right-click on the name of the building structure to create a new folder. Such folders in All Plan are called structural levels, and you can easily imagine these structural levels like a folder similar to those that you can create in Windows Explorer. All Plan offers different structural level types, and I am choosing Site. I now highlight this and left click on the description to assign any name BV Plot Anytown. Then I right-click within this new structural level to insert another structural level, namely one for my building that is to be built on this site. Within my building, I create and name my three desired stories. Once we have now created the structure to this point, we let All Plan automatically briefly sort the display sequence of the new elements, and to do this, click on Update. Conclusion I have built a structure in one minute that exactly reflects the situation on the building plot Site, Building, Stories. This building structure corresponds to the logical and logistical structure of the planned building and I could almost begin with the input of the building model. If I should be missing one or more structural levels at a later point in time, I can always easily add these in a few steps at any time. To finish, I take care of a couple of finer details. Firstly, I need the drawing files that Allplan has automatically created at the very top, but not quite yet. I highlight them just like I would highlight files in Windows Explorer, and by right-clicking, I can select Clear Drawing File Assignment. 
I confirm the prompt with yes. Secondly, I would like to have a place where I can construct cross-story components, for example that are to be shown in the stories, but that cannot belong to just one story, but rather to several stories. Examples of this are chimneys, utility shafts, or even elevators. I can very easily create such a place by right-clicking on the site and inserting a new story structural level that I then name Cross Story. Finally, I still need the drawing files in the stories on which I will draw. What exactly are drawing files? Quite simply put, drawing files are files. Every drawing file has a permanent unchangeable number and every drawing file is a physical file. The ability to distribute the components of a building model to different drawing files is a very powerful tool that no other CAD but Allplan can handle in this form. By drawing my different stories on separate drawing files and being able to switch them on and off at will, for example, I'm able to physically only switch on parts of the building that I am currently working on. My computer therefore only has to calculate and display this one part of my model, which can lead to significant performance enhancements, especially when it comes to larger buildings. We remember it simply. All data created or imported in Allplan is located on drawing files, and every drawing file is a separate file. So that we could now start drawing components, we will add a few drawing files to the stories now as a last step. To do this, I simply use the context menu again, which I open by right-clicking on the first story and then selecting Assign Drawing Files. In the following dialog, I click on Selection List and, for example, choose the drawing files 100 and 101 from 9,999 available drawing files. To do this, I enter the number 100 on the keyboard and all plan jumps to this number. I highlight the desired drawing files and use drag and drop to simply drag them to the basement. I would like to repeat this process for both other stories. To do this, I click in the selection list again, type in the number 200, highlight the drawing files 200 and 201 and drag these to the ground floor. I will use the drawing files 300 and 301 for the top floor. If I like, I can now assign any name to the drawing files and so that the orientation is easy in my small building structure, I assign meaningful names to the drawing files on which I would like to draw the stories. I arbitrarily selected the drawing file numbers and the number of drawing files per story and you can also choose different numbers. In general, however, it makes sense to use a single drawing file starting with the exterior walls and covering everything inside the exterior walls to the dimensioning per story or building section. As a precaution, I therefore created two drawing files per story to be prepared for the event that I deliberately do not want to draw any components in the story drawing file, for example, any elements of the outdoor facility. In order to begin with the drawing in the ground floor in our example, I now double-click on the number or the name of the first drawing file in the ground floor. With this double-click, all plan switches this drawing file to active for drawing and switches off all other drawing files. We will get to know the derived objects, that is, sections, views and reports, in the further course of the Quick Start project. Then you will see how easily such derived objects can be created and managed. After this brief introduction to the all-plan building structure, we will cover the import of a site plan in the next lesson.